Welcome to the Bring the Paint Festival. I'm Izzy Hoskins, director. Izzy, um, how did the Bring the Paint Festival come about in the first place? Uh, there was a lot of people in the city uh, thinking about it separately and we all came together, decided to work on it, wanted to change sort of the artwork around the city and make it look a bit better. So we all came together, got a team together. And that was in, what, 2017, the first one, wasn't it? It was, yeah, 2017 was when the first festival happened and the work on it began probably three years before the first event. All right, so quite a lot of, you know, lot of time. preparation yeah. time and stuff. I mean, is there, a, is, um, when you say people got together, was there a good graph scene, a good street art scene in yeah, the city? Leicester's Les has got a really cool graffiti community. Uh, everybody works together on, you know, various projects and what we're doing. Uh, we were already thinking about the festival and then when Leicester City won the cup, we were commissioned to do a lot of artwork about that. And I think when that happened, that just kicked open a few doors for us. It's funny, isn't it, how one, one, a few bits of street art in the yeah. city can actually... Yeah, it just change the perception <laughs> yeah. of what people thought it was. People yeah. heard graffiti and were terrified, and, and then they saw the stuff that happened. Well, now they see this sort of thing you know, behind you. You've got a yeah. work by you know, Inky, yeah. Inky here. I mean, what, what sort of... Uh, artists have you got involved in the, I mean, there's Inky, but as part of the 2019 festival, who have you got involved? Yeah, it's, I think it's a pretty heavyweight lineup. Uh, One ABC does, One Up, Inky, Nomad Clan, Flying Fortress, Howard Nozum, Yard Warriors, just, just, just loads. It's, yeah, it's nuts. How do you encourage them to come to, to, to Leicester? Just get in touch. I think what's nice is the first festival. <coughs> What did us a favour is, I think the first festival was very organic, we didn't have huge funding, uh, we were knocked back on a lot of doors, so it was then or never. So we just cracked on and the artist like Inky who came to the first one, and uh, there he is, uh, one ABC, uh, and, and everybody just had such a good time. When we were talking to other artists, they'd already heard about it, you know, they were talking to people like Boogie, yeah. And they were saying, yeah, come down, it's good, come and do it. So. Brilliant. Shall we have a quick look at some of the work? Yeah, let's do it. So we've got this piece here. Um, just, we're just in a sort of car park um, you know, type area, just off the cultural quarter. Yeah. And this is a piece from Voida, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's Voida. That was from 2017. It's a really cool piece. The, uh, the painting, it's his piece. Then it's a car park in the city. It was an abandoned site. Some local writers did a scheme <laughs> dedication. So all you see is crime in the city, the whole train that he did many years ago. Uh, and then just a local chap just painted that. Oh, right. That, that, that's actually a local that's person. Just, that's that, just that a that mate. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And then we're coming out to the, the Great Bates here. Yeah. Um, so uh, this was from 2017 as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, we come down. Yeah, yeah uh, is he from um, sort of Denmark, yeah, Scandinavia? Denmark, Denmark, Scandinavia, yeah, Scandinavia, yeah. Um, let's, so there's a few from um, 2017. Yeah. If we go a little bit further down here, we can see a few of the walls that are, are getting painted. See what's going now. on. What's What's your background then? Um, do you you have a graph background? How did yeah, you get involved yeah. in the I whole mean, thing in the first place? I got into graffiti when I was younger, just in a very natural way. It was never about anything other than just what it was. And then got, had various jobs. Got sick of my job. Quit my job. Opened a paint shop. Is that uh, Graph HQ? Yeah, so that was with my fella and we opened that and then it all kind of went from there and after the last festival we then set up graph work with my colleague Ant and that does like graffiti for hire workshops and we do huge scale artworks and that's the body behind Spring the Paint uh -huh. alongside Inspirate who are also and also the artist Mono who's been a huge part oh, of Oh yeah, I've seen him around, yeah. Yeah, he's a key part of the Bring the Paint team as well. Right. So, yeah. And some of the some some of the spots that you've got. I mean, we're sort of going from, you know, we've got the you know big piece of work on uh, by Alex Rubes on the Sound House. You yeah, know, that how was do you, wicked. How do you go about getting the the spots for something like this? It's just getting in touch with the owners, just land registry searches, Leicester City Council. Oh, is that what you do? Literally, yeah. you sort of that, that or, or knocking on doors. Sometimes it's literally I see a wall, bang on the door, ring up, get to the manager, then you get to the owner. Other times it's land registry, mates and mates, lots of emails, lots of meetings. Yeah. Uh, and then you <laughs> how did how did they react when you sort of say, oh, by the way, I want to paint your yeah, your building, a, you know, really bright colours? And yeah. Well, some... the first time around it was hard work because people didn't know what Across to expect. Yeah? yeah. 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 People didn't know what to expect on the first time round, so it was very much, 
you want to do what? <laughs> and then I think because of the success of the first event, it then worked out. And it was a hell of a lot easier this time. Oh, we want to do what we did before, but we yeah. want to do it bigger. Right. Uh, and fortunately, yeah, it, it worked out that way. And you've got sort of funding from the city council and... Yeah, the funders, so Bid Leicester, uh, which is all the businesses in the city, pay a levy. They chucked in money. High Cross Leicester, they paid for a load of 3D floor art in St. Peter's Square. Uh, and Planet Street Painters, they were wicked. Oh, really, wow. Real pleasure to work with and completely different to everything else we've done. Then other funders have included Arts Council England, Leicester City Council, De Montfort University, and Montana Cans were the sponsor, paint sponsor. Oh, that's helpful, isn't yeah. it? I mean, gosh, yeah, you must were... get through a fair, fair few cans. Yeah, they supported us like on the paint, so <laughs> yeah, they were good. And then Piston Head chucks us a load of beer. So, oh, well, which uh, is very thank important. you, Piston Head. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You've got 45 um, RPM in there. But... Should we have a quick look? Yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, so on there you've got WWF crew over on my right, 45 RPM up there, behind this is, you. This one here? That's Ruello and Core. And you've got some over in the corner, Penfold. Uh, and then a few, Oh yeah, that's Penfold though, is it? And then some of the writer's kids down in the corner. <laughs> so, oh, nice. This yeah. is 45 RPM, is it? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. So I love that piece. Yeah. It's a nice, grand, <laughs> grand yeah, piece. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's classic him. Yeah, no, absolutely. And there's a, there's a sort of boogie. Is it boogie? Right, no, or is it hombre? Hombre's hombre. The outside it's a homboog, so it's both of them. That was 2017. <laughs> and this time, unfortunately, due to circumstances, boogie couldn't attend. So he painted a piece at home, dedicated it. Oh. Uh, and hombre's doing the wall, but this wall was banging. Yeah, it's really an amazing one it. from, uh, <clears throat> from um, what, 2017, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, how do you choose the actual artist that you're going to work with? How is that? Is I, that know. I mean, I'm a graffiti fan. I think a lot of people look at our lineup and they'll see there's that genuine graffiti background on it. It's just artists that we're fans of. And yep. I love the thing, the Flying Fortress on that, that wall. Yeah. He's an absolute legend. He He's is an absolute amazing. legend, yes. Uh, such a cool guy. <laughs> but yeah, it's just really looking at the artists we look up to our favourite writers and then also trying to make sure we mix it up so it's not all photorealism, it's not all graph or it's not all surreal um, you've just got to have a bit of a, bit yeah. of a combination and then you can tick a box because not everyone likes letters, not everybody likes realism this guy's from Tahiti, uh, his government sent him to us oh paid, wow paid for his flights and uh, got in touch, yeah we want him to be a part of Bring the Paints so that was yeah, a that's, nice, that's... nice touch that's incredible. Wall on your left is filth from the last festival. Uh, and that's Ruello and Core, but you've got a load of debris stacked against it now. Got Tasso around here. He's uh, <coughs> it's like the pioneer of photorealism, really. Yeah. Sitting down having a beer. In fact, yes, happily. But yeah, so he's just finished. He's happy with himself. Oh, you happy with yourself, mate? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the famous Izzy <laughs> and Andy Davis from the Cheltenham Festival as there we speak, oh, as well, we live and breathe. Well, let's, yeah, let's have a beer later, that, <laughs> that, that makes sense. sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Know you know the stress, mate. Nice to meet you, Izzy. <laughs> and you, mate, I'll chat to you in a bit properly, let's yeah. have a beer. Yeah, yeah we'll just swap good. some ideas that as well. That sounds good, yeah, yeah. Wicked. And Andy's already had the inspiring city treatment. Yeah, so. I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm help me. Yeah. So let's have a yeah. Let's get, let's finish up by just going and having a look at the um, <clears throat> the one up wall. I mean, these are these are yeah, yeah, that was great right crew pull. that you've got. Yeah, I think with the I was really really buzzing because uh, with the first UK festival to get one up, I think it was a pretty big deal. For I think a lot it was a big deal. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've just heard it. Social media, just people couldn't couldn't believe it. At least people I know. So we was really happy. And DDS as well are in here on the left to to the side of one up. It's also a wall, I'll show you just around the corner of a local artist as well. He's an up and comer. Mm -hmm. It's really worth paying attention to him. He's really, I'll, I'll show you in yeah. a second. But yeah, DDS and one up. This is the uh, Adji there. I think he's he's got some real nice letter styles. This is the, the, the local Lo lad. Local guy. Yeah. 
Uh, he painted the, the last festival since then. He's just cracked on, kept on going. Brilliant. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously that's what all the writers are here for. <laughs> so, so tell me, um, you know, let's finish up. What, what, what does something like this do for Leicester? It gives it a buzz. It's just good. Like it's, you walk around, every city's the same. All the high streets have got the same shops. The shopping centre's the same. It just takes it away from, you know, there's politics and, and just all the crap that we get bogged down with. And you walk around the street, all different people have been walking around here today, like elderly people, kids, just di different attitudes, different political backgrounds, different everything. And, and everybody's just enjoying seeing something a bit different. Yeah. Just a bit of colour. It's I good. mean, I've certainly noticed that. I mean, yeah. lots of people from lots of different life, yeah. walks of life, just like enjoying yeah. the art. Looking at that map, that great little map, yeah. that, and just finding, <laughs> probably, they're probably finding bits of Leicester that they've never even seen before. Yeah, I mean, Sam Grubb, who's another local illustrator, uh, he did the program for us, so I've got to really thank him because it was great what he did, and it really gave that wayfinding just just gave you a sense of the scale of the festival because it goes so much beyond what we've walked around. It's so much wider, you know. Hombre's that way, hated but rated. The other end of the city, M4 T4, insane 51. So it's cool. Izzy, thanks for talking to nice me. Nice one. Cheers, pal. Thank Thanks for coming down.